Welcome to Casanova, everyone. Uh, today we are at the Fairchild Hill Trail. We are, sorry about the wind, <laughs> <laughs> we're at the southern tip of uh, Casanova Lake. It is windy today, uh, but still beautiful. So this trail is actually the old rail bed for the Syracuse and Shenango Valley Railroad, which came down the west side of the lake up here and then south that way uh, down towards Earlville, I think. There used to be in this spot or this kind of dilapidated building warehouse maybe there is, uh, there used to be a really beautiful railroad station, uh, the best one, the finest one on this route. And I have a picture of it. We're gonna go up here and try to match up where the picture was taken. Even though Route 20 here is uh, a little busy, not gonna cross it, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> so let's see what we can do. So there's Route 20. Let's see, it's a little busy. I think we found a good spot to compare this photo. Right here, uh, you can see where the rail line goes, that little blue car over there parked right on the tracks if it were a hundred years ago. But this is, uh, this is what used to be here in this spot. This picture is from a postcard from 1873, and tough to uh, imagine this here now, but two-story train station uh, sat in this spot. The upper floor was for the staff, apparently, and they had a few trains that would make, uh, I think, two runs every day. Definitely not the same now. So looking the other direction, there's the lake. And that little yellow ribbon there, kind of, that's where the tracks went through, on through to Fayetteville. So we're actually gonna take a walk a little down this trail. Supposedly, you can see the old turntable, uh, the remnants of what used to be here back so, so long ago. And this little kiosk here says, Welcome to Fairchild Hill. The original owner of these 22 acres was Charles Stebbins Fairchild in the areas currently maintained by the Casanova Preservation Foundation. Can I see what you guys? Yeah. Spoiler alert. Um, this might be easier to find than we thought. Let's go. <laughs> Apparently you didn't need to do all that research. What's that? <laughs> Look, at there's a sign. Oh. There we go. All okay. the research that you did lo looking into where, you know, the aerial view of the land is trying to figure out yeah. where it used to and be. There's that same picture that, that we have right, right here. It's from a postcard. I guess I didn't have to print that out either. <laughs> you know, this is like slightly close, like slightly closer up or a little bit different. Yeah, it's a maybe different, different photo. Yeah, well, let's go. To the railroad turntable. <laughs> Let's find that turntable. Pretty. Yeah, you can tell it's a nice spring day. Yeah. Huh. No kidding. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> that is, that fantastic. is great. Oh, it's really cool, honey. We can tell it's been a while since this has been used. Here's the center. We'll put stumps on this, but this is probably where the turntable would balance on and basically turn from turn your locomotive around.
That's really great. Up here, we have a little kiosk. It's a little history of the Syracuse and Shenango Valley Railroad. It began serving Cazenovia in 1872. The railroad ran from Syracuse through Fayetteville, Manlius, Orin, Cazenovia, and on to Earlville. The line passed through a tunnel dug under present day Route 92. The Cazenovia Railroad Depot was located at the south side of Pompey Road, which is now Route 20, just north of this site. The station burned down in 1905 and was rebuilt. The photo to the right shows the station around 1910. Many visitors rode the train to Cazenovia for picnics by the lake. In the photo to the left, you can see a train by the lake and a barge that took passengers on Cazenovia Lake excursions. At one time, the train also carried loads of ice cut from Cazenovia Lake, as many as 125 cars of ice per day to Syracuse. The railroad operated under several different names, including the Syracuse and Chenango Valley Railroad, the West Shore Railroad, and the New York Central. The last passenger train traveled this lane to Casanova in June 1933. The final freight train left the Casanova station on April 28th, 1944. And on the other side, we have some more information and some remnants of the rail line that scouts found. A little perspective of where we are. This is the building that we are standing right next to uh, just earlier. So this is pretty close to the road and you would never even know it was here. Pretty incredible. Really beautiful day, historical place, amazing ruins, I thought. It's very peaceful. Yeah, and uh, I feel half a fool because I didn't know this was back here first, and then I thought it was going to be like uh, overgrown and more than this and not marked. Yeah, so. we have our boots on, we have tick spray. We yep. came early enough that there wouldn't be very many leaves because we thought it'd be easier to find. And it's just completely well labeled and fantastic and super easy to find. Yeah. And there's a, an actual path to it. Yeah, the historical information that's around is really well done. If I would imagine it got to be uh, pretty well maintained in the summer if you are around Casanova do stop by. This is amazing to see. Just the history and uh, experiencing this. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> if you want to hit subscribe, please hit subscribe. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.